Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. First of all, I want to remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel by pressing the red button in the lower right corner of this video. That said, today I want to keep on talking about the service scope type that we have in SharePoint Framework. And specifically, I want to explain you how you can create an instance of the PMPJS libraries and types using either the SPFI or the GraphFI types providing the context of SharePoint Framework whenever you are in a service class or in a service library. And you can easily do that using the service scope type that we have already covered in episode 214. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to use PMPJS v3 in a service class or in a service library. So, here we have a sample web part that I created in order to get the whole list of lists that I have in a target site. In order to do that, I'm relying on PMPJS to retrieve the list of lists. So, let me switch to the code and let me explain you how I implemented this web part. First of all, I rely on a service class that I have in my solution. So, in the onInit method of my web part, I use the service scope of the context to consume a specific instance of the list service by service key, where the list service is nothing more than a service which will implement the iList service interface, providing the getList method which will return an array of iList items where every single iList is made, of, is made of an ID and a title. In the uh, list service implementation, I have the service key declared, which will be with a specific custom name and a service key created for my target interface. Plus, in the constructor of my service class, I get the service scope as an input argument so that when the service scope is fully initialized, when finished, I can get through the service scope an instance of the page context of SharePoint Framework, and by using the SPFI type of PMPJS, I can rely on the SPFX context providing the page context. So that later on in the getList method, I can rely on the dot .web, dot .list, and all the uh, fluent syntax of PMPJS to get the list of all of the lists in my target site, and then I can return the result as an array of I list. Then, in my web part, I provide the instance of the list service as one of the input properties for the React component that I'm using to render the UI of my web part. In the state, I keep track of the collection of lists, and in the React component, I simply say that in the constructor, I initialize the state with an empty array of lists. Then, on component did mount and component did update, I load the lists. I mean, I rely on the props list service property to get the list of lists, and I store the result in my state. And in the render method, I simply render the list of lists with a map uh, method. So, really simple to create uh, an instance of a service class and to provide the service scope to that service class in order to be able to get the context and create an instance, for example, of PMPJS. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.